Okay, guys, so we know it's 2024, and to be exact, it is January 12, 2024. And for some reason, my brain wants to say it's 25, but nevertheless, uh, I've been trying to figure out what is my passion. And I'm not been like soul searching, not even going to sit here and lie. However, there are a few things that I know I like to do, but um, I want something that makes me, when I wake up in the morning, it's like the first thing on my mind. I can't wait to do that. And what I come to realize is it really has to do with this, making videos. And I'm not talking about being an influencer, a podcast creator uh i don't even know what you call those titles or um a social media manager i'm not you know specific to what genre i'm looking to get into but uh, like even my background aesthetic wherever i feel the need to do a video or like my screen is telling me more light is required i don't have no more light um, I don't have it set up in here, so it's, it's dark, but I do recognize that the better the videos or the better the aesthetics, um, the better the background, the scenery, makeup, um, the more engagement or followers you get, um, at one point, I thought my passion was my hair oil, which to a certain degree, it still is. Like, I still like, you know, making it. But as far as selling it, nah, that's not my passion. Any, I mean, like, it was never my passion. I was just trying to help other people, you know, achieve what I felt like I had achieved or help where they may be lacking. But... Nevertheless, um, it's not my passion or you would see me posting about it more. Um, it's more of a take it or leave it. Look, I, this is the product. These are the results. This is what it does. Um, this is the cost. This is the website. But I ain't trying to force none down your throat. I do understand that there are plenty of different oils to choose from, plenty of different celebrities that are you know, coming out with their own lines. So even though I understand when Maybelline or whoever, because um, when one lipstick company made lipstick, that didn't stop other lipstick companies from getting their coins. So I figured it was still a lane to be, you know, uh, made money out of. Nevertheless, it is not my passion to um, market. So... Then there's that problem. So that's what I mean by I am trying to find my passion. And one of those things I know for certain is this. Getting online or doing a video and posting it online. Now, what I want to talk about any given Sunday, <laughs> like whatever I feel like talking about, is that going to be engaging enough? I don't know, because you got the soft life, you got the struggle life, you got the pranks, you got the comedians, you got the uh, baby doll looking girls and the get ready with me uh, outfit the other day. None of those things appeal to me whatsoever. Absolutely not. And then you have the other side of the... Um, relationship gurus the gym athletic let's get your body right gurus the chefs uh uh youtube instagram tiktok chefs the um what else the motivational type of videos that's not me either what i am i'm more of a say what i feel like on that day if I see something in the news or if I hear something 
or if I just feel like, you know, venting or letting out something, that's pretty much what I like to do. So I think in this year of 2024, I don't do New Year's resolutions. I try to make changes prior to the end of the year if that's what I need to do. And then after that year change is over, I go back and visit those and think about them and say to myself, hey, what I was thinking about before the new year changed, has that changed? And um, if it hasn't, uh, then fine. If it has, then that's okay too. I, I'm a human. I have a right to change my mind. Um, so I don't want to work a nine to five. I'm qualified for a nine to five. I have a background of a nine to five, I, corporate America, logistics, but it's very stressful. And um, it's a low paying job for a, a high caliber of brain capacity, problem solving. And doing all that before you leave because nobody wants to pay you overtime and everybody wants to leave on time. So, um, I really don't want to go back into logistics. I don't want to go back into corporate America. Why? Because I don't feel like I'm valued or paid my worth. And I think that's a lot of people's complaint. Um, not to mention the, um, uh, the ins and outs of corporate America require you to step on people. Um, and I've been stepped on. I've been ignored. Um, I've been, put it this way, I've been brought into companies based on my background and my resume. And then I get there and I go through the training and then the, there are some other employees, current employees, who see me as a threat. And I felt that because they wouldn't teach me something that I would learn somewhere else, but they knew who, how to do it. Or they would outright flat say, man, you learned that quick. It took me this long to learn it. And so I say all that to say, I don't want to go to back. I don't want to go back to corporate America. I don't want to haggle and finagle and, you know, uh, kiss people's behind to be seen big for a promotion when I deserve it. And nowadays you being hired as a temp and they want you to come in and basically sell your soul for a few coins and promise of a permanent position. And then some places, yeah, they'll make you permanent. And then other places had no intention on making you permanent. They just needed you to come in help dig them out of the hole that they was in and gone about your business. So 2024 for me is a soul searching year. It's going to be a get outside year. It's going to be do something outside of this box here. And I'm going to do it whether I like it or not. And I'm going to... For all intents and purposes, I'm going to invest in myself while I continue to seek professional employment because girl need a coin, okay? Girl needs a coin. However, I'm tired of selling my soul to a company that only counts me as a number in their corporation of employees and not seeing me and my potential and not even my potential literally what i bring to the table not potential because what i bring to the table will automatically let you know that the potential is through the roof if you can get me under your roof so i want to try to do more videos and i don't want them to be a niche I don't want to do beauty videos like that. If I do show you something that I've done, uh, that's because that's what I want to post that day. If I talk about something I saw on the news, that's because that's something I want to talk about that day. If I tell you I had a bad day today and that's what I want to talk about, that's what I want to talk about that day. 
And I hope some of you guys will come along with me on this journey because after 35, before 35, half of us don't know what we want to do, but we picked an area of concentration, whether that is in the university or outside in the workforce uh, based on the positions that we apply to. Um, you have created a niche of where you can be hired or where your talents, skills, and attributes can be best utilized. Um, I'm ready to get outside that bubble. I've been ready to get outside that bubble for a long time, but I didn't actually know how to do that. I still don't know how to do that. And I'm not the greatest person when it comes to making these videos as far as the pals and um like people be making whole powerpoint presentations with the glitz and the glams and the, you know beautiful transitions and the smack on the screen and now you look like a beautiful this and i ain't doing all that i don't even know that's that that is when it's not a passion at least for me that's when it becomes oh lord i gotta do this i gotta do that I just want to be straight up and real with y'all. How many of y'all out there feel like that? 